We've got the Express now, and anti-Israel protesters have vandalised the Cenotaph. In any other country, this would lead to a severe beating by police, but as it's Britain, I assume they've already been appointed as advisors to the government, Nick. Well, they've actually been arrested, but you I mean you're close. Yeah, it's abhorrent pro-Palestine protesters blasted as they vandalise Cenotaph, and it is pretty appalling. Of course, one of them's called Olivia, and that's about the minimum level posh name you get, you know what I mean? It's normally even more ridiculous than that. Oh, we've got but footage here. There they are, yeah. Spraying the Cenotaph with their red yeah. paint. They put a... They, well, near the cenotaph yeah. uh, and they've put a Palestinian flag there as well. Well, I'm a moderate on this. I can sort of see both sides. If you're a foreign national, you should be deported. If you're from here, you should be put in prison for life. I'm a moderate <laughs> on, on the cenotaph. deported. Yes. So, like I say, I'm a sort of sensible centrist on the uh, cenotaph issue. Hmm. Because like you say, what, it's, it, it, this is it's such an important monument to us. It's <coughs> desecrating it, even if you think you're making a point, which of course yeah. they do about genocide and so on. It's just inexcusable. Yeah. Well, there, I mean, yes. there's, no, there's no genocide there. And the people who, uh, who died that the cenotaph is commemorating actually fought to yeah. prevent genocide. Yeah. Correct. I kind of agree with them, though, because I think it makes sense to hate our culture and government and support a terrorist government who brought their people into a ridiculous war that's getting them all killed uh, and support a whole load of petro states and uh, slave countries like Qatar. Hmm. Yes, how very good of them and how very thoughtful. They also don't care about genocides. There's four massive and unquestionable genocides going on at the moment and um, they don't have a single word to say about any anything that's actually a genocide that doesn't suit them. They're also written down in the, uh, the cenotaph spraying 150,000 killed. This number is actually, it's, it's actually now that they've gone down a bit from the 186,000, which is doing the rounds at the moment, right. and, and being published everywhere. And where that number comes from, uh, it was, was not a study, was not uh, any information other than a letter written to the Lancet, which was non-peer reviewed, which they shouldn't have published in the first place. Yeah. It was just a letters page, where, where someone took the upper figure, fi figure put out by uh, Hamas, which even then has been questioned by, by the, uh, certainly uh, non-Israel supporting UN, yeah. uh, who brought down the number significantly. So he's taken, the, this guy in his letter took the upper figure, and then multiplied it by a figure that made no sense <laughs> anyway, uh, and then added in what he thinks the future figures could be if the war carried on at the same rate it's going on, and he reached a figure of 186,000. And this is being published all over the place. This is, yeah. uh, we, we're seeing it now as, as if it's the new fact. And that's that's so. ludicrous. And also the the people who complain that you know there have been so many deaths in Gaza, and obviously it's, you know it's tragic that civilians have died there. Uh, but we've got to remember that a huge portion of that figure is Hamas fighters who are combatants. Yes, and, of course. You know that's not a tragedy. I mean, unless you're you really like Hamas, which a lot of a lot of people, people do. Seem to do. <laughs>